Hello everyone, it is Kira's Art Journey, aka Podge, and we're back with another art and story time. So, so far I have drawn five characters and gave you five chapters of the Dance of MBM story that will be and i can't stress this enough it will be a heavily subjected to change so uh be aware like this take this story as face value as the first draft and there will be things change also i will be drawing today etwalani um this character i'm drawing today i have never drawn him before not even in my sketch but i always have I always had this image of what he'll look like in my head or some type of thing, what, what he'll look like. I always picture him as um, um, Armstrong from uh, um, Full Metal Alchemist and Teacher's Husband. I forget what her husband name is from Full Metal Alchemist. And like those big brawly bear mode type guys or um, I know I'm going to say his name wrong i think but the wrestler bartista or uh, is it bartista butista batista <laughs> uh, something like that yeah so um that's who i like imagine him as with that with that big bear mode type thing going on so yeah so that is as well about me and his character his character is like cheerful, always laughing, smiling. He's like a you know all around good guy. So, um, with that said, we can um last week. So I'll do a recap on last week. So last week's story and last week's person we did was uh Lesprit, right? And so the last week's story we came to a kind of like a new character was introduced, Claire. So. In the next chapter, we're going to find out who Claire is because Bonjour and Keaton, and the little boy, was fighting the guards and everything in the little enslavement camp. And now the little boy mistake the uh, this man, Claire, as his father. So who is this Claire? So we may find out this chapter. So without further ado... Let's get into it. Oh, oh, also, I may have or may not have forgotten how my voices went for these characters. So, excuse me if the voices switch up. I probably should have went back and re reread or re listened, not re read, but re listened to um, what the voices I was doing. But it doesn't need to hear that. So, let's do it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going with it. So, Anyway, chapter six, Lab Rat. Bonjour and Key looks up at Claire. Claire, you survived that fall. We looked for you, and yet your body was nowhere to be found. Claire looks over at SLG. His eyes grow big and, and a wide smile emerge on his face. Frey, it's good to see you, Frey. How is Papa? How is Mama? I really miss you all. Look at me. I've been cured of the malady, Frey. Now I can train with you and Papa for real and not be in the way. He says in a childlike manner. Estella Gis is speechless. Who? Who is he? Estella Gis asks Bon John Key. This is your Tonton. Bon John Key replies. He is your papa's fray. Long ago, when we were about your age, he fell off a cliff trying to prove to your papa that he was capable of being equal to him. So, he challenged me. He's still on the edge of the cliff, ready to deliver probably one of the strongest attacks I have ever seen at the time, but he had an attack. He has the malady. We thought he had died, but we never recovered his body. It was like he disappeared. No blood splatter. Nothing. Esla Gis looks back at the man who was now staring at Bon John Key. Who are you? 
how do you know what happened that day? I am the one you challenge. I am Bon John Key. Bon John Key? He yells in a fit of rage. He squats his leg. He, he squats his large body into base dance and pushes off the ground at an amazing speed, leaving a crater where he once stood. He starts throwing multiple punches at Bon John Key. Bon John Key goes into Dooley. He takes each sound breaking blow to his abdomen, arms, and face. The blows do not phase Bon John Key. While continuing his attack, he yells at Eslegi, saying, Watch me, Frey! Watch and accept me! I'm your brother! I'm your other half! Do you hear me? I am you! You are me! Bon John Key would not take you away from me again! The hooded cape that he was um, the hooded cape that he has around him unravels and falls off. There, in his chest, is embedded a large circular tube of liquid blue substance. There are wire like worms like that wet were in the sword running just underneath the surface of his skin. It gives him a bluish glow throughout his arms and abdomen. Bon John Key turns and faces like Yonciel. He says, What have you done to him? Latyan Sia smiles and says, It's the cure for the malady, of course. A little something that I have been working on. Suddenly, Claire throws a punch at Bon John Key, connecting with his right arm. Bon John Key felt a sharp pain. What? What? How can I feel pain with Dole and Vantage's screen? Claire came at him again using Bay, but this time Bon John Key quickly switches his stand to Bessie while holding Dole knocking Claire off balance. Claire stands up with his cat-like eyes in a blaze of fury. His hands raised up and he opened his palms and spread his fingers like claws. Eddie? Bonja Key says, surprised. When did you learn Eddie? Your moves are too sloppy to even consider dancing, Eddie. You are to first master the first sits perfectly for the floor is screen to move through the palms of your hands to the fingertips for powerful and efficient attacks. Claire ran towards Bon John Key, striking at him with his hands. Bon John Key easily dodged the strikes. Claire looks over at Esselegis and says, Remember, Lamy? Remember when Papa showed us this? I can do it too, Lamy. Just like you and Papa. Watch me, Lamy. Claire's energy begins to rise and his form becomes better by the second. He begins to become faster with his strikes and the power he puts into them becomes more heavy and dangerous. He made he managed to scratch Bon John Key's face. He broke through Dole. Bon John Key said in amazement, Truly, if the malady wasn't such a burden, you would have probably been one of Venti's most powerful men, maybe even above Venti himself, Bon John Key says in a low and saddened voice. The glow from the inner tube of Claire's chest become more luminous as he moves with more precise and quick motion. Bon John Key noticed a drip of blood on Claire's chin. Is that my blood? No. It's coming from his pores. Small bits of blood are expelling through Claire's skin. Claire, you have to stop now, Bon John Key yells. Claire ignores him and keeps going. With a huge burst of energy, Claire strikes out at Bon John Key and tears into his flesh. The light of the inner tube within Claire's body glows extremely bright for a moment and then flickers. See, Frey? Claire says, looking over at Estella G. See, I did it. Blood spews from his mouth and the light begins to fade out. Bon John grabs a hold of Claire's hand and pulls it from his shoulder. The wound is only a few centimeters deep, but an inch away from scratching a major point that would have left his arm motionless. Claire, Bon John Key says with concern. Claire dropped to his knees and coughs up more blood. This time, a deep mixture of purplish blue goo came out in chunks. Claire reaches a hand toward Esselegis. Esselegis looks at him with saddened eyes but a stern face. I am not your friend. Claire's eyes grow wide. 
Mami is my papa. I am your nave estogis. Papa was probably killed by Eklarat's soldiers who raided the village and slaughtered a lot of us, including my fray and Mama. Claire dropped his gaze at the boy and looks up towards Bonjon Key, who was still holding his hand. Claire gives a confused expression as if he doesn't understand what was said to him. His vision began to blur. Is this true? He asked Bonjon Key. Yes, Bon John Key replies. Suddenly, Clara snatches his hand away from Bon John Key. The light inside him begins to glow faintly. He turns towards Light Yon Sierra. Where is my fray? You said I can see my fray. He coughs up blood. Light Yon Sierra steps towards Claire with a pitiful look on his face and says, Poor abandoned Vanty boy, dying from surge of power running through his veins. Tis, tis, tis. If it wasn't for your strong will to want acceptance from your fray, more than he gave to Bon John Key, it seems, then you wouldn't have lasted this long, lab rat. Suddenly, Lot Yoncia punches his hand through the barrel of the embedded tube, releasing electrifying sparks from his hand. Claire reached out a hand and grabbed the cuffs of Lot Yoncia's sleeves. Ah, ah. Thought we were. That's why it doesn't pay to have a thought, Lot Yonciel says, as he intensified the electrical shock. In a matter of seconds, Claire's body became a charcoal corpse. This experiment was both a failure and a success. We need to go back to the drawing board on the tubular implants. We're close. I can feel it. Lot Yon CL says to the group of Ecclerodian men standing in all white coats with the lightning boat symbol on their right chest. Nevertheless, we found our new lab rat. Just a matter of how to restrain him, Lot Yon CL says with a wicked smile. Is this why you are capturing, capturing Vantes for your sick, twisted experiment? Bon John Key says. Yes, for other reasons as well. What other reasons? That you don't have to know. Bon John Key spots the small man who worked him furiously through the week, looking at him and doing some type of weird hand gesture. He pointed to a saddle horse on the side of a rickety canopy made of twigs. Is this a trap? Little one, Bon John Key says to Esselagis. Yes, Tun Tun. Bon John Key grabs hold of the boy's shirt like luggage and crouches into bay. It's time to escape. Alrighty. And that is the end of chapter six. So um let me know again as always. Let me know what you guys think of the story and uh, and also of Etwalani character design. So also, also, um, there is something that did come to mind when um, looking at this. There's some like kind of like a plot hole a bit. I, yeah, it, to me, it's a plot hole. So if you remember from previous chapters or previous insertions, or if you ever caught my screen and you heard me talking about it, I was saying that um, I said that when Eklaraj came to attack the village, they was killing people who had the pearls in their face, but they was capturing the regular villagers, right? So there are a mixture of the the people who are directly from Vantian's line, and then there are people who are not directly from Vantian's line, but they're like, they're considered Vantis, and there's the regular peoples, right? And so, um, oh my gosh. And so... The ones with the pearl, I guess you could say it is or isn't up. So he asks, why are you capturing Vantians when Vantians are supposed to be getting slaughtered by them? They're like, they supposed to be getting killed on sight. At least I could put at least that's what's the third prince um, orders to kill them on sight. As for the brother, as for his brother, the second prince, he were capturing the ones and doing experiments, it seems. So I guess 
I could wiggle some way in that. I don't know. I don't know. But again, again, this is subjected to change. So I will be working out the kinks and stuff with that. So anywho, uh, I thank you all for listening. Um, Next week will be uh, Esther Legis. I will draw Esther Legis next week. And I hope to see y'all then. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe, share, like, and all that good thing if you liked it. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down, I suppose. Please don't give me a thumbs down. <laughs> but anyways, um, uh, yeah, well, I don't care. But anyways, so I will catch you all on the next one. Have a blessed day and shalom. Bye-bye. And enter and cut. Thank you guys for viewing my channel. If you would like to see me screen my art and chat art and anime, follow me over on Twitch. The link will be in the description box below under all my links are here. Do you want to know when I go live? Join my Discord where you get live updates when I go live. The link to it will also be under all my links are here. Remember, art grinders, keep drawing, keep going, don't stop.